Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, October 16th, and this is going to be a really short intro because I need to get moving and get to work. So, happy Monday. I know you guys are seeing this on Thursday, so that always confuses me. But I've got a lot on my plate today, so let's go ahead and get this vlog started. Real quick, I must say how happy I am that the weather is finally behaving like fall because it is 55 degrees outside. I'm able to wear a turtleneck type dress. I've also got these basically knee high or thigh high boots on. I've said it so many times in my past videos, but Fall is my absolute favorite season and I'm just happy that Texas is finally behaving and giving us the weather that we deserve. Finally! Okay, time to get to work. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. Hi there, I would like a venti iced green tea. Green tea? Do you want that sweet? Uh, just with one pump of the cane sugar. One pump, anything else for you? And then also a plain bagel toasted with cream cheese. Toasted plain bagel with cream cheese. Perfect. Yep, and that's all. All right, 5.41, I'll see you at the window. Thank you. My copies of Shadow Crown did come in not too long ago finally i feel like i was waiting for forever and i'm so sorry for those of you that have order signed copies i know you've probably been <laughs> waiting for me to send the tracking number but i am going to go ahead and package those up and then run to the post office before it closes to get those all shipped out and ready to go and then sit down at my computer and send thank you emails to all of you who ordered signed copies of shadow crown as well as send you the tracking number and the eta First batch is done of packaging these signed copies of Shadow Crown. I'm a little bit panicked because I'm already starting to run out of books. So if you still haven't placed your order for a signed copy of Shadow Crown, make sure you go do that. You can do it on my website at kristenmartinbooks.com. Just click on the buy books tab on the menu bar. I'm definitely gonna have to order some more books from Create Space. So I had more orders come in that I wasn't expecting, which is awesome, but I just feel so unprepared because I'm not fully stocked and I like to, I don't know, I just like to have everything in order. So I'm a little stressed out, but I'm just try trying to go with the flow. But I wanted to show you guys how messy it is when you're just you know, a self-published author and you're packaging your own books and shipping them out to people. So this is just for signed copies. I use print on demand platforms, Ingram Spark and Create Space, so they, print and distribute my books for any orders that come in through Amazon or Barnes and Noble or any of those websites. But for signed copies, that's all me here in my home office. I'm the one packaging and, you know, shipping all of them out, dropping them off at the post office. So I just want to show you guys kind of like the hot mess situation we got going on. It probably doesn't look that messy, but normally I'm very organized. So you can see I have printing labels and shipping labels and starting to run low already on my copies of Shadow Crown. And in case you guys didn't know, every time I ship books, I send a promotional bookmark, and I also do write a handwritten note to you, and I also sign that, and of course I sign the book. So I take a lot of pride in really making sure the packaging looks nice, and that's really to show my appreciation because you have no idea how much it means to me that you guys are spending your hard-earned cash on my books. So I wanna make sure that I package it and ship it in the most cost-effective way possible, but then I also want it to look nice and just add that special touch, which is why I write handwritten notes to everyone who orders signed copies of my books. So 
This is the first run we've got here. So I need to run all of these to the post office. I'm gonna do that before they close and really it's because I wanna be able to just carry all of the packages in and drop them off since they already are pre-labeled. But that is why I wanted to get these done first because they are the international orders and since I actually need to go into the post office, I want to do that before they close. So I'm gonna hop in my car, get these shipped out. What a day, friends, what a day. Sorry, you can hear other neighbor's dogs barking in the background, but it is so beautiful outside that I wanted to make sure I just enjoy this weather. So I have my giant mason jar of water. I've got my planner and I also have my journal. I have to tell you guys, this is pretty insane. Let me show you how many pages I have left in this journal. So I have written this many pages, which is definitely more than half. You can see I've written on this side and this is the pages that I have left, but I've been journaling every single morning when I wake up, just journaling how I'm feeling, three things I'm grateful for, and then I always like to write down some daily affirmations or mantras that I just kind of repeat to myself throughout the day. And it always makes every day a positive one for the most part. There are some days where things are out of my control and they're frustrating, but for the most part, when I start my day off with gratitude and positive daily affirmations, it tends to just really make my days great. I can't tell if there's someone on the other side of this fence or if it's a family of deer grazing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm hearing some strange sounds. We're at 70 degrees with 40% humidity. I cannot even tell you guys the last time I saw my phone say that it was 40% humidity. Normally we're sitting anywhere from 80 to 95% really fantastic it is seven o'clock right now i did pick up some black walnut for dinner had this lemon chicken pasta and some baked potato soup because i just wanted i wanted hot food i was like it's chilly outside so i wanted to eat something that was i don't know just warmer and cozier so that was delicious you guys saw me packaging up the signed copies of shadow crown and taking those to the post office i was also able to film a youtube video right when i got home from work i didn't film that either because i was using this camera so kind of hard to film when my camera is being used even though i journaled this morning i had a really great day today and i just kind of want to capture the things that happened and I don't know, I just feel like journaling again, so it's definitely helping me be more mindful. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so real quick, I want to show you guys some of the fall and winter candles that I have picked up. I am a huge, candle lover and especially fall and winter scented candles to me there is nothing better than coming home and lighting a bunch of different candles and just having your house smell like the seasons primarily fall and winter i don't really care too much about spring and summer candles i can do without those but fall and winter i splurge i spend a lot of money on candles but right now bath and body works is having a sale where all of their candles are ten dollars off so i think they're normally around 22 dollars so that means they're only $12 a piece. And sometimes they'll do the buy two, get two free, which is essentially the same thing. I wanna show you my fall candle collection. These are my absolute favorites. And then also my winter collection, I've already started stocking up because I don't know, I'm just really excited about it and they had a sale. So I'm like, why not? So my forever favorite is leaves. This is just the perfect autumn fall candle it really smells like leaves it kind of has that sort of cinnamon smell to it i can't even really describe it it's just so good autumn is a little bit on the crisper side it smells more like apples and it's a little it's a little lighter this is a little bit heavier and has more of a cinnamon scent and then of course sweet cinnamon pumpkin i don't even think i have to really describe what this would smell like but think of a pumpkin 
spice latte as a candle because that's exactly <laughs> what that candle smells like. Then I don't know why my camera's having a hard time focusing on this one, probably because it's sort of metallic, but it's called Autumn Woods. And this one is kind of earthier, more like foresty wood type smelling. I really do like it, but a very close second to leaves is mahogany apple. And I really like mahogany apple because it's not as crisp as autumn. It has more of a earthy apple scent, if that makes sense. That probably doesn't make any sense at all, but that is, <laughs> that is how I'm going to describe those candles. So these are my go-to fall candles all from Bath and Body Works. So this is my winter collection. So I have two balsam ones. I have a mahogany balsam and fresh balsam. Both of them basically smell like pine trees or Christmas trees, so I love them. Chestnut and clove is like that perfect sort of fire and wood, like campfire type scent, but it's a good smelling campfire. It's chestnut and clove. So if you can imagine what clove smells like, that'll give you a pretty good idea. And then the winter candle is definitely my favorite because it's like a mixture of the balsam candles with something else I can't quite put my finger on but it is just the quintessential winter candle. When I smell this candle, I immediately think of all things winter and all things Christmas. So that is my candle collection. I'll let you guys know if I come across any other candles because I know I will be back at Bath and Body Works. I am burning through these so fast, but they, they just smell so good and they make my house smell really, really good. So yes. Candles galore. Let me know down below if you guys are huge candle freaks like I am. I just, especially fall and winter candles. And if you have some favorites, like I know a lot of people shop at Yankee Candle Company. I find that their scents are almost too strong for me, but if you have some recommendations for some candles that maybe aren't as strong, but smell really good for fall and winter, pop them in the comments below. I'd love to know, because I'm always on the lookout for new candles. This is so weird because it's only 7.45 and I'm just gonna have to get used to it getting darker earlier. I don't mind it, but when it's this dark outside, it makes me feel like I should be getting ready for bed, but 7.45 seems <laughs> a little bit on the early side. So I think I'm actually going to run a bubble bath. I'm still reading Stalking Jack the Ripper. I like it, it's just not holding my attention as much as Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick, which if you guys watched my last vlog, then you know I read that book in 24 hours and basically did a 24 hour readathon vlog. So I haven't made as much progress with stalking Jack the Ripper. Again, I like it, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's not holding my interest as much, but I'm going to light some of my fall candles and run a bubble bath and read more of stalking Jack the Ripper. And then I guess we'll see what time it is at that point. I would really like to get some writing in since I do have a goal of writing 37,000 words in the month of October for the second book of Shadow Crown, which is called Renegade Crew. However, I'm not doing so well with that goal, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. But it would be nice to get a little bit of writing in this evening, although I'm probably going to write in bed because I just want to be horizontal, you know? Okay, bubble bath. Okay, so it is now nine o'clock in the evening. I was going to write in bed, but I decided to write on the couch instead. That rhymes. <laughs> but I wrote a little bit over a thousand words, so that's, that's a good writing day for me. I try to write anywhere between 1,500 and like 2,500 words, but a lot of the time when it's a work day, I really only get about maybe 1200 in. So a little over a thousand is a little bit on the low side for me, but I will take it because it was a long day and I'm really tired and I'm just happy that I got some writing in. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, probably go lay down, maybe read a little bit or watch a little TV. I'm not sure yet, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.